Hello and welcome to uh, our next lecture uh, in land flow and land chain course series by TechLatins.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like land chain, land chain and land flow overview and like what is the course overview and objectives. Then in this lecture we'll be talking about like how you set up uh, land flow and land chain on uh, Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so what you have to do, click on product and support page. Then here you can find about the in artificial and machine learning category, find about the AI app development using land flow and land flow uh, product. Okay, so in this lecture, we're talking about GCP deployment guide. Click on GCP deployment guide. Then here you can find about the full flag guide of uh, setup and installation of land flow and land chain on GCP. So here the first step, uh, click on this link and open uh, this uh, product on Google Cloud Platform Marketplace. So you can find about the AI app development using land chain and land flow. You can find about the overview, pricing, documentation, and other things. Okay, and about the land chain and land flow integration, framework, and benefits, other things. Okay, so click on launch. So after clicking on launch, this will take one or two minutes. Okay, so here you can see that the deployment name and uh, about the selector service. Uh, you can choose according to your preference then click on deploy after clicking on deploy uh, you can see that uh, land chain 3 ai app development using land chain and land flow step by step 3 by 3 has started in deploying this may take a few minutes okay so let's see what is our next step after clicking on deploy button uh, after clicking on deploy button uh, a summary page displays when the compute engine is successfully deployed Click on the instance link to go to the instance page. On the instance page, click on the SSS button. Select open in browser window. This will open SSS window in browser. Run below command to set the password for the Ubuntu user. Okay, so let's see. It will take one or two minutes because uh, it will take some time. You can see that uh, most of the things are in progress. Okay, so let's see what is our next step. So now the password for the Ubuntu user is set. You can connect to a VM backstop environment from any local Windows machine using the RDP protocol or Linux machine using Gamina. So we are open our RDP also, that is you know, which is remote desktop option. Okay. After this, you can see that it will uh, successfully launched and deploy. Then click on LAN chain uh, 3 VM. Then here you can see that the status type is running. Now what we have to do, click on SSS button open in in browser window option and after this uh, you can take you can see that transferring ssh keys to the vm and it will take one or two minutes to okay now what we have to do uh, copy the i we can see that it is working now now what we have to do again run then command okay Set up a new password. Again, retype new password. And you can see that the password updated is successfully. Now we have op again open your, your remote desktop option and uh, copy the public IP from the VM details page. Then open the remote desktop option. Again, paste the remote desktop option. Click on connect. Click on yes. After clicking on yes, you can see that uh, our VM is now running successfully. Uh, give username as Ubuntu. Give password is uh, uh, you have to set up on uh, command prompt. Okay, give the password and it will run successfully. Let uh, me show you other steps also. Now we have make a, a super user from command prompt. Okay, because we have run a, a land flow user interface. So run this command, which is sudo landflow super user. You can also follow our guide on uh, uh, our website. Okay, give username, which is admin, and give password, any password, according to your preference. Okay, so you can see that your super user created successfully. Now what we have to do, uh, we have copy uh, the public IP address, and then we have run something here. Okay and on 
HTTPS address. With HTTPS address, paste your public IP. Then you can see that your connection is not private. Click on advanced, proceed to this. And you can see that the LAN flow uh, user interface is running now. Now I have uh, set up a password and uh, uh, username here. You can see that the username is, uh, I think, uh, I think uh, admin. Okay, so the username is admin and your password, I have to set up a password here. You can see that. Okay, now what we have to do, uh, give username that is admin and uh, give password. So you can see that it is running successfully now. Well, let's see our uh, remote desktop option also. So it will take one or two minutes more. So this is how it works. Like this is how you set up a LAN flow and LAN chain on Google Cloud. Here yeah, you can see that the LAN flow is also working now. Here you can see the user interface. You click on a start here, but then you can find out all the things here. Then this is all about to the LAN flow, like how you set up a LAN flow on GCP. And this is all about the video. Let's see our, uh, yep, you can see that our uh, VM, our de remote desktop option and uh, this setup is also running now. Okay. So that's all about this lecture. I hope you guys like this course and this lecture. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And uh, yep, uh, we will provide more valuable content on different tech stack and different technologies. Let's meet in next lecture. Bye-bye.